it's Kimber. Welcome back to Cinderella Jane's Place. Wait, wait, which one are you cooking? Um, go ahead and make sure that you hit that like and subscribe button. I look a little different on this time because she's yeah. Kimber and I'm Cinderella Jane. Y'all haven't seen me in a little while since Christmas and I got braces and I got older. So let's get to the video. My hair looks too 1980 fast. lady. No, it's too fat. Mm. Go ahead and get six eggs, depending on how big you're gonna have it. Um, we are going to use the dark chocolate fudge mix. That's all. Um, two of those. Yeah, we're gonna use two of these. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this one up. And what kind of cake are we making today? Uh, let's start out with a Oreo cake. So we're gonna start out with an Oreo cake, and then yeah, we might make ten more. And wash your hands before you start. Just pour this all in. Go ahead and add both your cake. You're gonna go ahead and add six eggs. Can we add them right now? Don't you always do it in a cup first? Yeah. Okay. Just to make sure you don't have any eggshells. Which we probably will. Oh, no, that's bad. There's no eggshells to eat them. Alright. You can be like me and I'll just crush them and drop them. So we're going to add the water. We're going to try something different and add the Oreos inside here. Before. Just a little bit. We're just going to add a little bit of Oreos yeah. inside. Okay, we're back. I'm gonna do this. Okay, here's your lesson. What you're gonna do? You put your icing in there. You slide it down like this. And twist your bag so it don't come back out in your hand. I got that twisted. You take your little cupcake and you can just wob it in the middle and keep building it up like this. Or, oh. or you can take a cupcake like this and start in the middle. And work your way out and around the edges like this. And on how you want your cupcake to look. It's like a rose. Or you can start on the outside and work your way from the outside towards the middle and then pile it up in the center. Three different types. It's called a rosette. There you go. That's what it is. And then these are just for fun, so we just eat them. Yeah. And using our quick icer and drop it down in the bag. Like this. And today we're just going to use, we are being lazy and using store bought better cream icing. It's really good though. It doesn't taste like store bought. Instead of using, a, instead of using oh, butter yeah. cream, we're using better cream, which is a whipped cream icing. Let's see. Okay. Make sure you close your hand up here so it doesn't come through your mouth. Okay, so, so now we're gonna go ahead and What's your lesson, Miss Kimber? Gotta wait a minute. Make the bottom. Make sure you got room to work. Yes. Oh. 
Alright, you guys, please okay, know what we're going to do now is we're going to go around. We're going to, no, we're going to ice in the sides of our cake. <laughs> what? Let's get it over in a second. Okay. In order to make it icing properly on the sides, you want to make contact. Very important for you to listen. You got to make contact like this with the side of the cake. Wait, wait. You got to turn it so that it's side. It's awkward. Your fingers are going to be pointed away. So it's like this. Put your no. Turn your hand flat on the table like this. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it so weird? <laughs> I'm gonna trade hands. Put your right handed. Hold your bag like this. Okay, you got it. Turn it sideways. <laughs> Up. Sideways. See my tip? <laughs> your tip's not the same as mine. <laughs> That's the problem. What? Try again. Okay. Watch. Oh, that tip better. Your tip should be up and down. Okay, better? Okay, except I want the ridge, the one with the teeth, are going to go in. Are gonna go oh, this is a lot easier. Okay, okay. The, one, the teeth are going to go closest to the cake. Okay. okay. You're going to go, you're going to connect with the cake, and then you're going to put your hand on your turntable, and you're going to make it go around. What if it like cuts up And if it stops, you just reconnect. Why is it like doing that? You're not putting enough pressure with your hand. Do so I have to like push it? You gotta push the icing out of it. I am. Why is it doing this? <laughs> because you're learning. And then you're gonna need this. Okay, you're good. Don't worry about it. Okay, now, after you've done that. What about when you get it like this? Don't worry about it. Okay. Press it's not back. connecting. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Just lay it aside for a minute. Take your spatula. <laughs> point it down like this. And just move it around so that it puts the icing, it smooths the icing on the cake. I swear I'm doing it exactly how you said. It scraped it off. You weren't connected then. Yes, I was. You were not connected. It would not come off if you disconnected. It would not come off if you were connected. You're not putting the right pressure. You I gotta, don't. You got to put a little pressure. Put a little pressure. Make it would break the cake. Hold on to the board and put pressure with a spatula. Always icing towards you. That makes it the easiest. Well, like this, easier. you're still going towards you. It's easier for me to do it away from me. Okay. Look. I'm just telling you, it connects with the cake better if you're going <gasps> towards you. Okay. Right, just keep doing this until you fill it all in. Take what's left in here. And we're just gonna put it on the rest of the cake. Start like this and just turn. Press so that you get it out of the cake. You go however you gotta do it. It well, always works best when your teeth have to be connected towards the cake. Because if your teeth are not connected, then the icing doesn't really connect very good. That works. Good. Mm. Mm. I don't want to go out in the room too. I don't want to go out in the room. You've got a lot left. Right? Mm. <laughs> you don't want to squeeze. It's like no! 
Look, there's like, what am I supposed to do? Stick my thumb in there? Tell you what to do on the top. Let me finish this. You were wet your lid. And I need to give you a little tip. You need to make sure your icing is connected all the way at the bottom so that no air gets in the bottom of that cake. Because if air gets in the bottom of that cake, then it causes it to dry out quicker. And make sure the bottom is sealed. Okay. When you're doing the top, see what you did? That? That's what I'm trying to do, what I want to teach you. You'll take your spatula and you'll work around the edges towards you like this. That's how you get that. Me. Just barely gently. I'm gonna do away from me. Just barely gently go like this, and always pull your spatula towards you, and that's how you get those. <laughs> 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 Sorry. It's the right question. Yeah, you got a lot of cupcake cup, cup in there, but it's not gonna matter. That's why, because it's an organ cake. Just gently. Just smooth the look, just gently. You're, you're pressing too hard. That's how you're getting cake. No, 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 because you told me right pressure can You got any holes? Like at the bottom or the top? You gotta fill those in. The only time I wanted you pressing was when you're pressing that icing out of the bag. When you're smoothing around the cake, you're not pressing That was that. so light. I did that so light. And it's still good. Like, <laughs> you're not lightly doing it. <laughs> just do it for me. Yeah. It's your, your use the tip, not the whole spatula. Use the tip and lightly go around. Oh, you said you want to be a cake baker like me. Yeah, I do, but it can't. <laughs> you can't even ice in a cake. Okay. I'm going to put my icing in my bag. I'm putting my icing in my bag. The best way to do it is to fold the sides of the bags down a little bit like this. Take the spatula with your icing, put it down into the thing, push it down as far as you can, grip that spatula and pull it out like this, and then the icing comes out clean. Then take the top of your bag like this, twist it, and push the icing down where it belongs and you're ready to go. If there's any air bubbles in there because you're refilling it, then just kind of push those air bubbles out. Okay? The design I want is gonna be like this. And Whatever you want with cakes, there's no rhyme or reason as to what you have to do. My icing starting to turn pink with the bag is pink. <gasps> no fair! I don't want it to be pink, but it's just turning that way. I hate those little air bubble things. I'm gonna 
So at this point, our cakes are all done except for putting on the Oreo cookies. We just simply cut those in half and placed them around the cake. And then we sprinkled some crushed up Oreo cookies on the top and on the sides. Thanks for joining us as I teach Kimber how to make a cake. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that like button and please subscribe to my channel and we will see you in the next video.